All right. Well, I just changed my header. Uh, I made it the the the, uh, the actually the long header, but I used the cover uh, so I could put this uh, the my why why I see in here from one of my pages. And now I want to add an image carousel into my site here to show some of the things that are going on. Now I've got some random pictures that are in a folder on my desktop that I'm gonna insert in here um, just to show you how it works. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna look at how to how to insert those into uh, your web page very easily. So first thing is look here we, we're gonna go back to insert and we're under insert right now. And so the, what we're going to be using is the image carousel. So I click image carousel, and now it's going to ask me to insert some images. So if I click the plus sign, it's going to ask me to either upload or select an image. So I'm going to upload some images here. And the images I'm going to upload are in a folder called pic. So I'm just going to randomly insert an image. There's an image. My, my favorite thing in the world, sharks. Um, I'm gonna add another shark image and I'm gonna add even one of my cat and I'm also gonna see if it's gonna allow me to upload a GIF. I'm gonna see if it lets me do that. I think it's gonna let me do that. That's pretty cool. Um, and I'm gonna do this one here. Okay, so now I have five different images that are gonna go into my, um, my carousel. So I'm going to click insert. Okay. And I'm going to kind of bring this down so we can see the whole image here. And, and notice there's a little settings up here. So I'm going to click on the settings because I'm going to make sure that uh, our carousel is correct. So we have, we have, uh, we can add text over each of these images here. And now we can show the dots show the captions. We can do an auto start, which I kind of recommend. And you can do medium or slow or very slow. So I'm going to do slow. I'm going to see what that looks like. So again, all I did, you, you can have the dots where it shows like how many images there are, kind of shows them like where the progress is. If, you, if you've if uh, you added captions, you can add those captions there. So you could put like kids at play, you know, whatever. Um, auto start, you want it to auto start. You don't want to have to make the person start it, it should, it should slide automatically. And then you can also change that transition speed. So let's see what this looks like here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and publish this. It's going to say, okay, are you going to want? And here we go. Oh, see, it even added my GIF. How about that? And there's my cat. And there's my shark. And there's another shark. You see it's doing it automatically. It's running through them automatically. And I did the slow. I didn't do very slow. I just did slow. Medium is going to go a little bit quicker. Fast, of course, is going to go a lot faster. So we probably want to make sure we, you know, you cho choose a speed that you want. And there, that's it. That's how easy it is to insert an image carousel into your site. You can have those pictures on your desktop. You can have them in your Google Drive. You can even just search for images and, and pop those in there. Um, and again, if you use the using the Google search, all of those images are internet friendly. They're copyright friendly, so you can use them on your site. All right, I'm going to go back into the uh, edit. Okay, I'm going to show you one more thing that you can insert into your Google site, and that is. Uh, you can insert presentations. Now, some people might just use the go to Google Drive and insert it that way. And that's 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 an actually fine way to do it. Um, I choose to do mine just a little bit different because I want it to present for for people. Because when I just put it into the um, when you just put it into the site through using Google or using your Google Drive. So it's, you know, it's going to pull up some of my, my random stuff. So if I go to recent here, I should have a couple of, of uh, presentations that I've recently added. Give it a second to load. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one right here. It's a lesson that, that we're going to do, and I insert it. Okay, so what happens is this is the size, or if I make it a little bit larger, that is the size that they're going to see. So if 
it's you know it will open in a new window for them if they want it to and of course you do have the ability to do the loop to auto start all of that stuff if you want it to um which is which is great um except it, it it's it it's kind of small right it's because it's embed it's kind of embedded into the site so instead of doing it that way what i can do is i can take a screenshot of this particular and see i've just got my little box here i'm going to take a screenshot of it okay and i'm gonna i'm gonna just go ahead and go down here and i'm going to insert that image let me go back to my desktop i'm going to use that screenshot that i just took there's my screenshot i'm gonna make this screenshot kind of big here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into that presentation so i'm going to actually go into my drive okay i'm going to go to recent and I'm going to get the share permissions for this. One. You may say, what in the world are you doing? So I'm going to click in here and here's my here's my link right here. I'm going to copy this link, but I'm not going to use the whole link. I'm only going to use part of the link or almost all of the link. All right. I'm going to go back into my site. OK, now I'm going to link this image that I have right here to the presentation. So I click on the link. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that link in here, but I want you to notice right here where it says edit. We're going to change that. That's not going to say edit. We're going to change this to say, and notice I didn't get rid of the question mark. I'm ju I just removed the word edit. Present apply. Okay, so now what's going to happen? So let's publish this so you can see what it looks like. Because again, if I just put it, if I just put the the presentation in there, they're going to have to click it to get into a new window, all of that stuff. But watch this. Watch what happens. So now we're going to we're going to view the the published site, and I'm going to go right down here and I'm going to click on the link. Beautiful. It is presenting my slideshow. I'm using the arrow keys to go through, and now I can see it in a big screen. I don't have to go to a new screen. I don't have to click on anything. All I did was click the link, and this is going to come up. So all I did was is I add the image. We'll go back to the page here. I added this image in here, and then I created a link onto the image. I got the share link from my Google presentation, my Google Slides. And when I put the link in, I went into the link and I changed the word edit that's in that link towards the end of the link. I erased it, just those four letters, and I put in the word present. And when I did that, now it's going to present in presentation mode. They can't edit. They can't do all they're going to do is look at it, but it's going to be nice full screen for them. So that's just a little trick that you can do on your Google site.